Hi guys, uh, Ryan of the Private Banking Forum. I just did my daily live journal recap. Um, I didn't trade yesterday, I was uh, out this weekend. I'll explain later on my journal. Uh, so I'm back in uh, the swing of things today. Doesn't look like I missed much um, yesterday anyway. Looked like a pretty balanced range bound day. Uh, day. As you can see, we've um, this is the range bound sort of balance day from yesterday. As you can see, we've opened pretty much a pretty big gap up today. Um, a lot of news out in Syria at the minute, a lot of tension in the, on that side of things. Um, so it seems like we've uh, seen uh, crude oil get driven up overnight. Um, uh, the way I approached this morning was I just, there wasn't really much to reference. And um, I mean, we did, we had uh, the previous highs, um, <clears throat> which I had marked up here. And we, we broke through that, we, we, we tested above um, the previous highs. So. Uh, I just basically let this market shake itself out and um uh just to show its true colours of what we uh were looking at this morning and um we've uh, formed the initial balance, we had an eighty five cent initial balance um, in the first period and we've seen some sellers respond off the highs and we've pushed back into um uh, into ETHV WAP and we've pushed back down to um the RTH developing value area low. Um seen some uh, good absorption down here, I mean there's a big uh, six hundred and fifty print come in, um uh, below uh, the development value area and we seem to be holding the, the development value area and two-way trade coming back in so I've uh, initiated a long position here um, I mean my stops well 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 out of where I'm gonna probably look to get stopped I'm just um, watching what happens here obviously if we fail to uh, to hold um, the value area low here and um, we don't see a rotation back up then I'm just gonna close this trade out manually so I'm just keeping a very very close eye on things here uh, so I'll keep posting on, on what happens here Okay, I'm currently um, scared out on the two of my targets now. I'm just managing my core position. Uh, my stop at the minute now is uh, below these two swing points um, on RTH and below the development value on RTH. So, see what happens here. See if we can continue to reject um, the development value ETH and we push higher and uh, become out of balance out of value on the RTH. Uh, regards targets on this, um, there's not really much to reference. Uh, so, I'm probably just going to start. Um, Trailing my stop if we break outside of value here and um, taking profit at an IB extension most probably. We'll see what happens. Anyway, keep posted. Okay, just a quick update. It is uh, quarter to 11 Eastern time. Um, I got stopped out on this position. I got my first and second scale out and I put my um, I put my stop at 40. Uh, it was below a sort of a couple of swing low levels and um, below uh, <coughs> RTHV WAP and. Um, the development value area low and it's also below the the half stand deviation on ETH and um this I didn't really want to see the market come trade um, against this level and it's also below a sort of ledge that was forming and um on the today's profile. So this seemed like a good um location for me to put my stop and uh we came down, stopped me out for two ticks and then we've seen this market sort of come back into balance. So at the minute I've got no position on and the market's moved against me. So I'm just gonna be um sitting here monitoring everything and um We'll see what happens uh, for the rest of the day. So I'll keep you posted on um, on what I do now. Cheers. It's a quick update. It's uh, 25 past 11 Eastern time. Um, you can see that uh, we did break out on the crude, and um, this market uh, did rotate higher without me. Um, I was going to jump in at these uh, at these uh, developing value area higher <coughs> on RTH, um, but something I'm just looking at at the minute. Is uh, I mean, we are currently in a breakout market. We've um, broken out above the high, the previous high of um, from this last uh, rally. So, and we're just sort of floating up here, and we're not seeing a big response at the minute. So, um, just uh, just playing on the edge of caution at the minute, and um, just trying to evaluate every uh, possible scenario. I mean, this market is go has gone higher, but it just doesn't seem great confidence in the minute. We've just been very rotational, very balanced this morning, and. Um, so I'm just wondering if we're going to see like a mean reversion type of uh, situation happen here down to um, ETH VWAP. I mean we are uh, we're testing the initial balance higher. We did pierce through it, but we found some sellers here, and we just um, we just <laughs> we're just literally hovering around the initial balance higher. So I'm just going to um, see what happens here. I might I'm, I might not trade the rest of the day now. I might just see what happens. There was a great uh, setup on the ES this morning from um, a, a previous level. I mean. Uh, here's a composite I've been tracking, and uh, 
we see this market sort of come down to the overnight lows and um, the bottom of this composite and it's a great location to get long but um, I missed this trying to um, see what's going to go happen with the crude and uh, so I mean there's no point trying to chase this trade now <coughs> this trade's um, well underway so um, ended up missing like I said the yes trade so I might just um, sit out the rest of the day we'll see what happens here and what opportunities um, come come up anyway I'll keep you posted ok just a quick update it's uh, about 7 minutes to 12 so um, we're going into um, <coughs> The I period, um, lunchtime period in crude oil. Um, I've started to establish a long position here. I mean, we came back down to um, the developing point of control and uh, the ETH value, and um, we are still seeing upwards rotations and rejection of value. So um, also pulled back to the the half standard deviation um, on the Globex session. So I'm expecting a a possible rally here into the close today. So I thought I'd start building a a long position here as I. Um, messed up my initial long position off the open um, opening period this morning as you can see we've seen um, some pretty heavy absorption and some uh, large uh, volume accumulating here so um, I'm exp I don't really want to see this I'm expecting to not see this market uh, trade through this RTH VWAP uh, it's just what I'm looking at at the minute and um, expecting a, a test of the, the initial balance size again so like I said I am expecting to see this possibly rally into the close today I mean we've just um, accepted these uh, accepted higher value today. I mean, we've just um, seen balancing, um, so we are accepting value. So we are. I am expecting a possible rally into the close, like I'm saying. So, anyways, um, like I said, I'll, I'll keep you posted on um, on how this trade develops and um, what I end up seeing here. But I mean, we've uh, created um, pretty high value for the for the developing week so far, and we did. This is not a major conference at the minute. So obviously, we're only about a, a day and a half in, but we did come back and um, and test the developing value high, area higher for the week, and we did see a rejection higher. So um, it's just like a, a lot of things I'm looking at at the minute. I'm thinking that we are going to see this um, see higher prices into the close today, but uh, we'll just see what happens here. Like I said, we I was ex was thinking that we could see a possible mean reversion here, and this still could happen. I could be wrong, and um, now we've not seen the uh, IB expansion, but. Uh, we'll just see what happens here, like I said. So I'll keep you posted and um, I'll let you know how this works out. Okay, it's another quick update. It is currently um, 25 past 12, so we've got five minutes until the next period comes in through lunchtime. I uh, managed to get my first scale out on this. I'm looking for my scale, sec my second scale out into um, the initial balance highs. Um, if we can get an expansion and a push above the initial balance highs and a rally into the close, and I'm looking to target the 109.95 area, which is also which is the second IB extension which would be a hundred percent um expansion of uh, the initial balance this morning uh, there's a couple of other small things i'm looking at for this possible area but um that is what i am looking at at the minute so just looking for my my second scale up now um i'll keep you posted on um on how this goes for the rest of the day we've got about two hours left of this um outcry session in crude keep you posted Okay, just another quick update. It's currently um twenty to two, so we're in the last two periods of crude oil into the J and K period. Um still just uh accepting value now, ETH. Um the point of control was trying to shift up higher, but I mean we're not seeing anything <coughs> uh it, it, nothing changing much. I mean we're just sitting on the the edge of uh, the the weekly developing value area high, so I'm just gonna see if we're gonna see a spike into the close or not um now. Um and I've got my first and second scale out on this trade now, so I managed to um, hedge my risk on this position. So I'm just going to let things play out. I mean, I'm look hoping that uh, we're just going to see a rejection of um, of developing value for this week, and hopefully we see uh, buyers respond from the from VWAP and um, try push this higher into the close. So time will tell, and um, I'll let you know how this uh, how this goes. Keep you posted. Okay, just gonna um, do the finish to this video now. It's currently quarter past two. Um, I was expecting maybe a possible spike higher into the close, but uh, just very rotational balance at the minute. We're just um, rejecting the value area high. Um, and I was just trailing my stop pretty much at my entry at VWAPs, and um, we just come down and uh, and took me out uh, for a couple of ticks of profit on this um, on this position now. So um, gonna call it a day. Um, an ES. Uh, Pretty uh, rotational to the downside. There was a potential setup off of um, 
off a uh, level here, but um, it, it it couldn't seem to get going. We just kept rejecting um, this week's initial uh, developing value, so not much to really report, report here. Um, anyway, we've had a nice, very, very uh, balanced distribution day on crude at these high levels, so it'll be interesting um, to see what happens here tomorrow. Anyway, um, I'll catch you guys tomorrow, and I hope you had a great day. Cheers. Bye.